A month since you are here in Lithuania, and how are you adapting to Konas, and how do you like Lithuania in general? Uh, Lithuania is nice, uh, friendly people. It's very cool, but uh, I'm I'm adapting. Everything is going well so far. Uh, so tell me about your home country. I think Lithuanians don't know a lot about South African Republic. Uh, what yeah. can you say about this country? A lot about the climate, about the geography, and about the basketball level, of course. Yeah, well, some Lithuanian people think Africa is a jungle for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, but South Africa is an industrialist country. It's the richest country in Africa, you know. Uh, it's very hot. Uh, it's summer right now, it's, uh, it's like 35 degrees. Mm, a basketball level, uh, actually, our league just started like 20 years ago, but then it broke out through corruption, you know, sponsors pulled out. And then it started again like five years ago. Uh, most of our players, they come from the US because young players who are coming out from high school, they actually go to US for college. Yeah. Then they come back so they can play, you know. Yeah. But it's not as popular as uh, other leagues in Africa, like Angola. You know, Angolan league is pretty established and it's much better. Uh, were you surprised by something in Lithuania? I mean, the people's customs and traditions and so on. Have you noticed something that is strange for you? Strange? Well, the only thing strange is that people don't speak English. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, like, a, a lot of people don't speak English. So uh, that's the only strange thing. You played several games for the youth Shadowgirls team, yeah, so far? Yeah. And uh, what was the most challenging while playing for the new team in Lithuania, I mean, the basketball? Well, I've been here for a month now, like four weeks. Yeah. Some of the other guys have been here for like years. Mm -hmm. So ob obviously there's going to be um, a difference because I have to learn a new place. I have to adjust to playing with new teammates. Yeah, so um, it's challenging and also the, the language barrier, you know, those are the only things that are difficult, but uh, it's getting better like each, each day. Uh, you've also seen some Euroleague games when the Jalgris uh, senior team play there. And how did you like the atmosphere in, during the Euroleague games and I mean the whole Jalgris team, senior team? The atmosphere was nice. Uh, it shows basketball is, uh, is appreciated here. But uh, um, in South Africa also, when we when you have big games, uh, it's normally huge crowds. It's just that it's not televised uh, worldwide. But yeah, it, it was a nice admin atmosphere and, and top level basketball. Can you compare the fans in South Africa and Lithuania, not only in terms of basketball, but maybe in other sports like maybe Lithuanian basketball fans and South African rugby fans and so on? Are they all crazy like in Lithuania? Yeah, they're crazy. The rugby fans are, are crazy, like, <laughs> like they make noise and uh, South Africa, the population is much bigger so um, in terms of stadiums, the stadiums are bigger and, and, and more people come. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to improve as a basketball player in your game set right now? What are the areas? There's a lot of things I wanna I wanna improve on. Not just one one thing, just my all-round game. Cause I don't have one thing that I I excel in, and otherwise like um, it's pretty much all on all in the same level. So I just I just wanna improve as an all-round player. And what do you expect from the rest part of the season here in Lithuania? I just want to play hard and play, and play my best and, and learn as much as I can. That's, uh, that's my only goal right now. So thank you.